Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Cloudwood's YouTube channel. In today's video, we'll look at disaster management for businesses because let's face it, your business essentially depends on its data that you've accumulated over the months, the years, even the decades. If you're like most businesses, we do consulting for, well, you've probably several workstations, a server, NAS boxes at your office, and sometimes even a cloud solution. So your data is practically scattered across a variety of devices, across a variety of clouds that could fail at any moment. Now, failure means downtime of your business's operations in most cases, and with the average cost of one hour's downtime ranging from $8,000 for small businesses, $74,000 for mid-sized companies, and even $700,000 for large enterprises. Well, disaster recovery is progressively becoming an integral part of many business strategies. Unfortunately, although they recognize the importance of a disaster recovery strategy, 36% of businesses cannot afford to meet the costs associated with it. And for businesses that have already implemented recovery frameworks, 40% of their CIOs do not have confidence in their ability to jump back from a disaster. Overall, about 75% of businesses, both large and small, lack a comprehensive and reliable disaster recovery system. So, in this video, we discuss how your business can implement a disaster recovery plan that essentially keeps downtime at a minimum and how your business can recover easily if you've implemented a foolproof cloud backup solution. So in this example and for demonstration purposes, we're using a cloud backup provider called Carbonite Online Backup because I've used it for many businesses from construction, real estate, financial services, marketing, and even for some NGOs. But this recovery plan can be used for smaller businesses and individuals as well. Well, why would I need a cloud backup if I got one on premise? That's a frequent objection, a frequent question I hear from clients and our website visitors who leave comments and emails on Cloudwoods. But Data loss due to hard drive failure is just one of the threats that could pose potential dangers to your data. Ransomware, for instance, is another growing and pervasive threat. In the past 12 months, according to a survey conducted by Osterman Research, more than 50% of companies have suffered ransomware attacks. These Malware attacks can lock systems and files until the victims pay ransom to the anonymous cyber criminals who distribute it. And without the ability to recover clean copies of business data, many businesses are forced to pay the required ransom to get back to business. And we have another video here on the channel that specifically covers this kind of attack and you can access the video by clicking right here and we discuss a little bit of, of the details of how you can avoid it and what countermeasures you can take. Now, a cloud backup solution such as Carbonite keeps clean versions of your files and server data backed up off premise so it can be accessed and recovered anytime your business needs it. Now, how can you implement a cloud backup solution into your existing business without breaking the bank. Contrary to popular belief, a comprehensive disaster management plan doesn't actually have to be very expensive. There are various deployment options available with some costing a couple of dollars per month, others are more expensive and it really depends obviously on the amount of data that you have. If you have a lot of workstations, a lot of servers, obviously the plan is going to be more expensive if you want to back up database, for example. But businesses of all sizes 
have come to rely on cloud backup as an affordable, reliable way to backup data without spending additional dollars on IT resources such as staffing and data centers. Carbonet, for instance, has flexible pricing plans that comfortably accommodates individuals and businesses with varying budgets. And I've personally used it across the board. I've used it for a couple of years on my own computers. I've used it for family computers and, as I mentioned before, for consulting services on many clients in various industries as well to protect myself in case of disasters, in case of ransomware or other viruses that could attack the computer. Now, so that you get an idea of what you will have to pay and how much would a cloud backup cost, I will just jump quickly onto Carbonite's website and show you a little bit of the plans and uh, what might be a good fit for you. So right now, I am on Carbonite's pricing website. And as you can see, Carbonite offers three different plans um, for the consumers. Now, it could also be that the consumer plan is actually right for your business, depending on the size. Um, the thing is you just might have to purchase various licenses or various times the plans that you can see here. So for example, if you look at the basic plan, now the basic plan allows unlimited cloud storage for one computer. So you can essentially back up one computer uh, and you're not limited in, in the storage that you, that you can actually back up. So if your computer has a fully filled four terabyte hard drive, Without a problem, you can choose this plan and it will back up um, the files accordingly. Now, it will obviously take some time until four terabytes is back up, backed up. And this depends a lot on your internet connection, your internet speed, what type of files you have. But this plan is essentially good for consumers um, who really uh, need the, the real basic protection and it only costs $59.99 per year. The thing is, um, this plan does not support mirror image backup. And this is why it's it may be not a good fit for uh, businesses because if your workstations uh, have a hard drive meltdown or is attacked by some other viruses, ransomware, what have you, then you need to restore the system in its entirety as fast as possible so that your team, your employees, whoever or yourself can start working on it um, as fast as possible. And if we look at the plus plan, we can see that the plus plan actually supports a mirror image backup of one workstation. So this will be a good fit for smaller businesses um, who have maybe like five or six or seven computers in their office and each computer needs protection. So you could go for five times the plus plan and each plan, each computer would be protected for only $99.99 per year. Now then there's a prime plan um, which is uh, good if you um, are a video production company, for example, because it would automatically back up video files. Now, this does not mean that you cannot back up video files with the other plans. It just doesn't occur automatically. So you have to go into your file system and right click and select the videos manually that you want to back up. And the Prime plan for $149.99 has also a career recovery service, so you really get your data fast. In terms of the business plans, which is now getting a little more uh, interesting for uh, maybe server admins or CIOs or IT professionals who need to back up clients' computers or who have really a large data center that they need to back up, the office pricing looks obviously a little differently and includes several um, several methods uh, for, for data backup. So the um, core plan includes the Carbonite computer backup that protects an unlimited number of computers, external hard drives, and NAS devices. But now you can back up an unlimited amount of devices. So if you have an office with 50 computers, 100 computers, no problem, you can back them up. But as you can see here, it only includes 250 gigabytes of starter cloud storage. So you're now not limited to the amount of devices, but you are limited to the amount of storage, contrary to the home plan, where you're limited to the amount of devices, but not the amount of storage. And it offers also a 128-bit encryption key and TLS SSL transport security, so your files are always very well secured. Now, if you need to back up servers, then the um, power plan 
would be the best choice for you because for $599, and nine, for $599 you can back up um, your servers, your physical or virtual servers. This can also be virtual machines. And it would back up the image of those, of those machines. So you can really back up everything and restore it as quickly as possible once uh, a machine actually um, melts down or if some other uh, calamity happens to your computer. And it would also back up Windows file servers. It backs up application files, so even settings files. So you can really start uh, where, where you left off with, with the minimum downtime possible. Now, and um, the ultimate plan, um, obviously, which is called the, um, yeah, the ultimate plan is available for $999 per year. And it includes an unlimited number of computers and servers, which is really good if you have quite a few database uh, servers that actually make your business run. And uh, you get an included 500 gigabytes of starter storage and additional 100 storage, gigabyte storage packs are available. So you can really expand the storage infrastructure on a as needed basis. So these are just a couple of the pricing plans that you can use um, with Carbonite Online Backup. And now uh, we will look at how you can actually restore files in case of a disaster. Planning and uploading your files to the cloud is obviously just the first step in implementing a comprehensive um, disaster recovery plan. The second step requires persistent monitoring and assessment of the backed up files. And that means updating your logs to ensure that all the files are up to date and relevant to your system at any particular time. While you could do the backups manually, Cloud backup services like Carbonite and the plans that we've covered uh, before come with automatic backup capabilities. So you can either pick a schedule um, like every 24 hours or whenever a file changes, it will be backed up to the cloud, which is recommended. Um, but even with a cloud backup service um, that regularly updates your file backups, you still need to be sure about your disaster recovery plan. And that means conducting data restoration tests. A standard test should not only eval evaluate the capability of the cloud backup to restore all your files, but also the speed of recovery and, and service consumption. Although the cloud's download speed um, plays a huge part in this, your average recovery time is more dependent on your overall disaster recovery strategy and also obviously on the internet connection that your office is using. And that brings us to the actual recovery process. So how can you effectively recover data from the cloud in case of a disaster? Let's go over a, a typical scenario with um, Carbonite Online Backup. And I'm going, I'm going to hop again onto my computer and show you how you can restore uh, files very, very easily. Here we can see actually the uh, Carbonite dashboard and this gives you at all times an overview of where your backup is at. So depending on how many files you've, you've selected for, for backup, this will take a while, but you can go comfortably in and right click on any folder on your desktop and pick the Carbonite uh, button and then back this up and Carbonite will automatically add this to the backup schedule. And in this video, we're not going to talk about how to back up the files with Carbonite, but rather we're going to look at the restore process. So the thing that we need to do is we switch to the restore tab. And what we see here are basically three different restore options, right? So first thing is search and restore. And I really like to use this option if I just need a file quickly. Um, I don't want to restore my whole operating system because maybe I'm working on a project, but unfortunately, um, my external hard drive where I've backed up data on uh, just uh, is not working anymore, but I need this project file right now. So I could just go and search search and restore, and I could find my, uh, my files in the list. So if I uh, search, if I type in uh, a word test, and if I hit the search button, it will find the test folder that I've just uploaded to Carbonite. And then I can browse the test folder and actually see where my files are, are located and select them for, um, for restore. Now, 
I have several options here that I can do. I can either say, okay, I want to restore this file directly to the original location if I fix the problem and the computer is running again. Or I can just uh, pick a folder on the desktop to restore it onto a different location um, if I don't want to restore it directly in the same uh, data hierarchy that I've used before. And um, this is actually uh, quitting pretty nice uh, if you want to restore this onto a uh, external hard drive, for example, where there's more space on it. Um, now let's go just back to the uh, to the original overview by closing uh, by closing this. And there's also the option to browse your backup. Now you can browse your backup and actually see what files you've backed up and it will all open a, an explorer window where you can really drill down into your backed up files and then you would uh, see where files are backed up. You can see the versions and Carbonet would help you um, along the way to restore um, these files. Now, if you need a complete restore, you can say, okay, I want to restore all my files. And this is actually pretty easy because it will guide you in, in a step-by-step -step wizard through the process. You can select which files you want to restore, you review the selection, and then you restore your files. So let's go just quickly through that, right? So I will choose um, uh, the user account that I want to uh, restore, I hit next. And then I can select, hey, where are my uh, files coming from and where to do I want to, uh, where do I want to uh, restore the files to? So I'm going to hit next. And then I will restore files in any order if I don't have a particular need for a specific file. Or I can choose some files to restore first. For example, important project files. Um, uh, databases, whatever is crucial to your business, you can restore first. Now, I'm just going to restore the files in any order. I'm going to hit next. Now, it will restore Windows user accounts um, and it will select, it will restore the selected files uh, and folders in my best desktop to the C um, location. I could then hit edit and change my mind if I would like to uh, save it to um, a different location. But in this case, um, I'm fine with it. So I can say restart now and my files are then um, being restored. And it is uh, taking a little while until everything is, is completed. And once it's done, it will actually say, hey, restore is complete. All 198 files uh, are restored successfully. Now, the good thing about the restoration process is you can also restore versions of files. So if you accidentally save the file that uh, you didn't want to save or somebody else saved the file erroneously, then you can, you can just go, travel back in time and restore that file that you need in the original version. So as you can see, the restore process is actually pretty smooth and pretty easy. And um, I, like, uh, I like the way it, it actually, actually works. Other cloud backup services do work in a similar way, but Carbonet gives you a very easy to use and step-by-step -step wizard to follow through the restoration process. And ultimately, it's all about getting your business up and running again. It doesn't matter if you use a local backup, it doesn't matter if you use a cloud backup, but I highly recommend to have a strategy in place and most importantly, practice this recovery strategy. So don't just recover files when everything is too late, but schedule, um, once a month or maybe once every three months, a disaster recovery session where you would restore your most critical databases, your most critical uh, computers to see if everything is working all right. So I really hope I could show you a little bit about uh, the recovery process and uh, a, a sample uh, provider such as Carbonite that you can use to backup files in the cloud. Um, and if you do, make sure to su subscribe uh, to this channel and also like the video so that more people find out about it. I really hope we see us in my next video. So see you around. Bye-bye.